everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl and my favorite sidekick, Miss Kalualu, is in the other room actually eating a late dinner tonight because I did get home a little later than anticipated. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm sitting here, I've got like purple everywhere. My purple Dollar Tree shirt I'm wearing, uh, up against a purple wall, purple pillows. I don't have my purple glasses on, so I figured I better throw it up just a little bit and make it different. I have Rizzo, my purple ruler. Um, yeah, I got lots of purple going on. It was pretty, well, I shouldn't say pretty chilly, just more chilly than normal, but it was about 64 degrees here today and a little bit cooler now, obviously, and um, it is absolutely gorgeous here. The leaves are falling and there's just every color that you can imagine. I'm going to do the best I can to try to get some video to share with all of you because a lot of times when people say you live in New York, they automatically assume I'm in the city and I'm not. I'm actually in the Hudson Valley and it is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the city. I'm just saying that I am in the sticks compared to what most people tend to think that I'm in New York City. All right, so hopefully everyone's doing well. I have like, I took my laundry basket and kicked Kalua out earlier. That's why she's got her late dinner. Dumped everything over and I'm ready to rock and roll. So let's jump into it. Okay, where do I even begin? Let's begin. There's going to be, you know, this is just going to be so random. It's not even going to be fun. Okay, this was kind of a cool find, I thought, because of its size. This is an 8.5 ounce resealable trolley brand name Sour Bright All Star Mix. Man, that was a mouthful. Reusable trolley Sour Bright All Star Mix, <laughs> 8.5 ounces. This is the size of the bag. I mean, this is a big old bag. The flavors include um actually it's not flavors i can't give you the flavors because it doesn't tell me i thought these were flavors but they're not it's actually you get crawlers sloths octopuses llamas and tiny hands in this bag so those are the little kinds of critters that you get um got a couple because i figured okay well we'll keep them on hand because you never know and for that 8.5 ounce wow that is like a super bargain there i did pick up some cheese it's i believe cheese it is the brand name right is it cheese it or cheese nips i think it's cheese it i always always screw that up Anyways, these are 3.25 ounces. The first one I found is Cheese It Grooves in Zesty, uh, is it Zesty? Zesty Cheddar Ranch. So that's a nice brand name for you. The other one I found is the exact same size, 3.25 ounces. And this one is Sharp White Cheddar. So these are the two flavors I found, whether there's more or not, I have no idea. This was just what was hanging out at the Dollar Tree by me. I then picked up some more of these bagels. These are the everything bagels. These really are, I mean, they're so, you can see right there, like I'm barely, you can see how soft they are. And really, they're very, very good. Um, Grandpa really enjoys them just as much as I do. Um, so besides everything I've seen, Plain, everything, and wheat. Those are the only ones that I've seen so far. So I'm not really sure. And that's even a new brand for the Dollar Trees out here in New York to start carrying. Um, so, But that's the only ones I've seen so far. I found some bottled water, which is always something good to have on hand. And this is the Fiji bottled water. So we know that this is way more than a dollar. And again, I mean, Dollar Tree is kicking but on brand names, there's so much going on right now. This is a 1.05 pint, which is 500 milliliters. And there is, is there an expiration? There is an expiration date on this. It is December of 2023. So plenty of time on there. So I grabbed a couple just to have. Sometimes when... I find, and this is just my opinion, sometimes when I find brand names 
Um, the reason why I'm finding them or we're finding them, but I'm just referring to myself because I'm speaking as myself. A lot of times when you find brand names at Dollar Tree, it's because their expiration dates are fairly close to expiring. Not all the time, a majority of the time. So just like most Keep an eye on what you're you're getting and, and watch those dates because you just never know. And sometimes I've seen in the same batch two different dates, three different dates. So just keep in mind to keep an eye on your dates. This was down the, uh, I guess you would consider it the car section. These are by Toolbench and it's a 60 piece. And what it is is felt little pads. I have um, two of the breakfast nook table chairs are have little fuzzy things because they're sliding back and forth on a solid floor solid wood floor and i want to keep that protected and i've had some on there and they're getting kind of eh. so i thought you know what instead of spending a ton of money because these at walmart were like four and a half bucks i said you know what let me just get these and if i need to replace them it's fine there's plenty i mean this is the size that i need for the particular chair that i'm using but You've got three different sizes in total, and you never know. If you have something that's not sitting right, instead of shoving a couple matchbooks under there or a couple bent cards from a card deck, stick one of those under there and just even it out. You know, it just kind of makes sense, in my opinion. Okay, uh, I got waters flying at me everywhere. Um, I did finally find, now this is by Christmas House. These are the Christmas trees. Christmas trees come out at Dollar Tree every year. And normally they have the exact same two every year. The dark green one and the all white one. They're all the same size. And basically, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to say, are they three feet in total from top to bottom? It doesn't say on the box anymore. Oh, well, it used to say on the box how tall these are. But if I remember right... They're about three feet, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit taller. Don't hold me to that. Anyways, this year they have an iridescent one. So I grabbed this, I'm gonna open it up here in front of all of you so I can show you. What you're gonna get is three little legs like this of plastic. And as soon as I get this tree out of here, here we go. I'm really hoping you're gonna be able to see this on camera. These are so, so simple. I mean, literally in less than two minutes, it's put together. These are perfect. I used to work in a nursing home. And what I would do is get a bunch of these trees. And what I would do is get a bunch of the bulbs from Dollar Tree and the lights and all that. And believe it or not, there's many people that don't have anybody. And everybody deserves a Christmas tree at Christmas time. And I would go around to the rooms, and for those that didn't have them, I would set up trees. Anyways, uh, just a little food for thought there. So this is what the iridescent one looks like. I'm hoping you can tell on screen. It's much different than the white, but I thought this might make a cool Christmas, Halloween, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. Um, a lot of people put Valentine's Day treats trees up with valentine's hearts how perfect would that be to have the iridescent white i'm just saying you don't just have to use it for christmas you could definitely use it for other holidays as well but the fluorescent one it's just kind of cool i don't know i can't describe it it's just different um it's quick it's easy and in just two seconds i already had it apart and back in the box so Bada bing, bada boom. If only the regular trees were that easy, right? Okay, moving on. I found some more of the Snuggadoo socks. And I did get two because look at what color they are. Yes, yes, yes. I did. I got two pairs. And these are purple and like a dark purple, a dark pink. And there's some white in there. These are so comfortable. It really does say... Excuse me, my voice. I still got my allergy things going on because I was just at the doctor yesterday and I do not have COVID. <clears throat> it's allergies and we think some bronchitis trying to sneak in. We're keeping an eye on it. I go for blood work again tomorrow. Anyways, um, I didn't mean to squirrel there, but I didn't, everybody was asking me if I had been 
um, thinking about or, you know, checking into COVID. And yes, I have been checking into it. And I am good to go. Anyways, back to the socks. <laughs> Snugadoos. These are super soft and absolutely perfect for many different things. Stockings. Oh my gosh. There's so many things you can do. Believe it or not, socks, hats, and mittens are pretty much one of the three things that, unfortunately, in homeless shelters, that is what they're looking for. So socks are a big, big deal. Okay, moving on. I found a couple things down the houseware section. A housewares, I guess, baking section, actually. I cannot believe how much their, like, pans and stuff like this are wiped out already. It must be people are thinking ahead of the game. You know, I mean, we're getting ready. Our world is going to be making a change one way or another in the next couple of weeks. And I don't know if people are just stocking up, um, stockpiling or prepping. Um, but... A lot of things are disappearing out here again. Paper towels, toilet paper, not like crazy, but they're fading out. And so I'm starting to wonder. Anyways, I picked up some of these. These are perfect for making mini loaves of bread. You do get three in a package. The size on these are three. So basically, you're going to hold two pounds in each one. So it's just shy of a red I actually know it's probably yeah it's probably just a little bit shy of a regular size baking loaf one that they normally carry I prefer the ones with the lids on them but unfortunately they've been sold out of them forever I can't get any more so I'm on the hunt for those those are definitely on my wish list Alrighty, I did find a couple things and this is also a brand name Wilton who makes all kinds of baking products. Um, if you bake or anything like that, you definitely are aware of the company Wilton. This is a 100 count package of baking cups. You get four different designs. So let me hold them up there. These are the different designs that you will get. So you're getting 25 of each design just to give you an idea of what they look like. And what I thought was really cool is these are perfect if you're doing like chocolate covered peanuts. I do chocolate covered pretzels, small ones, big ones, chocolate covered peanuts. I do caramel. Perfect when you're making little packages to put your little pieces of candies in. Now I want some chocolate <laughs> and I don't have any. Oh yes, I do. I do have something, but it's for grandpa. Then I found these cups and these are not made by Wilton. They're made by Dylan's Candy Bar. I've never heard of that before, but let me get the glare off. There's the name right there. You get 36 in a package. Now, what I liked about these are, these are aluminum foil. So you're not just getting the paper outside, you're getting the aluminum that goes inside, which I really like because sometimes, depending on what kind of cupcakes you're, or whatever you're baking, your paper liners, if you have like less expensive ones, will bleed through and they'll feel greasy underneath. If you have this type of liner, you're not going to get that greasy feeling to the paper to your cupcake. Just me. I'm just, you know, I didn't make that happen. It's just something I've noticed throughout my years baking. But I thought this could be used for absolutely anything. I love the splash of color. You know, 36 cupcake holders for a buck, not bad. Obviously, you could get more, but they have those liners. So if you think about it and you separate the two, you could actually have 36 times two and then basically do that. Do one paper and one foil. Just a way to save more money and more bang for your buck. Okay, this was down the houseware section, kitchen section. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, not that I need one, but I thought, you know what? Why not? Because every now and then, by the way, this is five and three quarters by four inches. It's, you know, like alumini, aluminum, you know, it's not, you could bend it if you squeeze it hard enough. So it's barely called metal, but it is metal. They're calling it metal. And it's basically a napkin holder. Um, it sits really nice, but what it reminded me of was like a rainbow for some reason. I don't know why, because maybe it's in the shape of a rainbow. 
But think of this just like outside the box. Why does this just have to be a napkin holder? Why can't it be put on someone's desk to hold letters or envelopes? Or, I don't know, just, you know, make sure when you're looking at items, you're thinking outside the box because there's always something you can do differently. There's so many YouTubers out on um, right now doing um, gnomes and Santa Clauses with the mops and mop heads at Dollar Tree. So definitely check it out when you're thinking of crafts and stuff like that. All right, E-Circuit every year at Dollar Tree comes out with headphones and chargers and all kinds of stuff. And these I thought were kind of cool. I do not have one of these on my cell phone, but... I'm not so sure if this is the brand I want to go with or maybe go with something a little bit more expensive. I've never tried these before. So if somebody's tried these before, please hit me up in the box below and let me know what you think. These are called phone pockets. And let me get the glare off. This one is like a pinky. Well, I was going to say it's like a rose gold, but it's kind of like this one's gold. This is a little bit more of like rose gold. I also found this one here, which is in like a really dark blue. And then I found this one here and I thought that was like Christmas red. I don't know how many colors there are. These were just the ones I found. So I grabbed these. Now, what concerned me after reading them was I see that it says phone pocket. On the front, it says stick on the case more than 30 minutes. I'm assuming let it stay on the case for more than a half an hour before you use it. Boing, did the little light bulb go off just now? Maybe. But anyways, it says replace your wallet with the phone pocket. Easily store your credit cards, cash, money, keys instead of your wallet. When using the wallet pocket, recommended stick it on the phone case, not silicone, not stick directly on the phone. Do not tear it after pasting. I don't know. I have to read about that a little more. But these are perfect. I see people with them on their phones all the time. I don't know what brands they are. But I thought these were perfect as little like stocking stuffers. Um, if you're going to be having like secret Santas and things like that at work. Or even if that's going to happen. I don't know, you know, what our country, what our world's going to be in. Um, if we're going to end up like we were last Christmas, it's really hard to say right now. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. That's all I'm, that's all I got to say about that. All right. Now let's jump into some new aromatherapy. And this I thought was pretty cool. So this is by Village Naturals. It's called Aromatherapy and they're balls. So check out these balls. All right, you get two in a package, ultra moisturizing with shea and cocoa butter. The box itself net weight is 4.9 ounces and you get two balls in a package and those are pretty good sized balls. Uh, let me take a measurement here. About an inch and three quarters. So that's some pretty decent size. You get two in a package. I love the packaging. Look at that packaging. Can you see? There's a good shot. See the leaves like going up? Really, really pretty. And you look at this. You're not going to know that's a dollar. And even if you did, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is look at the presentation of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This packaging itself is not small. If you measure the box itself, it's six inches. So, you know, very nice. I did end up picking up two of those. I also grabbed one in a different scent. This one I thought was unique. I've never heard of this scent before. This one is tea tree. Oh, well, I know what tea tree is because I used that when I had my navel pierced, uh, the tea tree oil. And this one is tea tree and sweet orange. I thought, and you get two balls in here as well. Same size as the first package, I thought. And look at the packaging on this one. So the first package I showed you, see the packaging on that one? And then there's the packaging on that one. Really, I mean, the packaging is very well done. I'm going to give them kudos for that. Also, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I may have to take a sip of my tea. Bolero. We all know how expensive Bolero can be if you're getting it from Bolero directly or online. But when you can, if you hit up Dollar Tree at the right time and you find it, you are in luck. This is so adorable. You get three individually wrapped in a package. The package is 2.63 ounces. And I almost, I was going to say it's ponies in pair. Excuse me. It's peonies in pair. And you get three individually wrapped ones in a package. The package is resealable. So if you wanted to separate these out and give them separately, you could because they're individually wrapped or you could just take one out at a time and reseal it. But what a cute little gift. Also found star-shaped bath bombs by Bolero. Also three in a package. These were coconut and wild berries. And look at these stars. And they're all individually shrink wrapped. So if you wanted to like use this as decor in say a bathroom or something and maybe have a little bathroom tray, you could put a couple of these on there. There's just so many different things you could do. So just thinking outside that box again. This is the one that really kicked me um, because I was like, this has to be way more than a dollar at the store. This is Jojo. It is a 5.29 ounce package. It's humongous. It's got Nickelodeon on the front of the package. Let me just see. Let's go see if I could try to get in there to get you. Where's Rizzo? Um, that's huge. This bath bomb is three and a half inches in width and two and three quarter inches in height. That is gargantuan. It's got Nickelodeon right up there at the top. It's an official Nickelodeon item. Again, it's Jojo. There's the front. There is the back. And it says also, it says cupcake scented jumbo bath bomb. And then it also says that there's a surprise inside. How adorable is that? Oh my goodness, you cannot go wrong. I finally came across, oh, I have to show you these first. Oh my God, are these, I don't know who had these. Who had these? Somebody, one of my subscribers made a comment about somebody and they were cracking up about some tools or something that they found in the kids department. I think this is what you guys are all talking about, but I'm not sure, and I would have bought them anyways. So what these are, are mini appliances. You get lights and sound. How old am I? I know, okay. So you get this little pamphlet, and you wanna make sure that you're looking for the ones that have tabs in there, because that means that the battery is blocked from the connection so you're saving battery. If the battery dies, you would use your little screwdriver set that I'm always commenting about to replace it. So make sure you check that it has one of these in there and then just double check to make sure anyway. So what you're gonna do, once you pull this out, this little tab, the battery has now made connection. So this is basically what they're calling a little vacuum. Let me give you a measurement here. These are so Oh my God, they're so cute. They're six inches and they had blue and green and blue and purple. You know I was going to grab the purple. So are you ready? So let me put my hand in here. I don't even know. Let me see. It's like vacuum in the house. I wish my real vacuum lit up like that. Is that a door? I mean, come on, this is good. I mean, for a dollar, and it's like, you know, I'm impressed. Okay, so, can you shut it off? No, I think you have to wait for it to shut off. Because there's no off button. Oy vey. Okay, so it doesn't stay on very long. Oh my God, that is so adorable. Now wait, I have something else to show you. So bear with me one moment. They also had 
an iron. And I was like, just, this is too funny. So let me measure this one. These are great for stockings. Great for the little ones that are ready to get their first kitchen sets and stuff like that. This one is six inches long as well. And it's a little itty bitty iron. How adorable is this? It's got a little dial here on the bottom. It's got a little button up here that you click for steam. So it's got the same type of setup. This is where your battery would go. So let me pull the tab. And I'm assuming that sounds, that sounds more like a train than it does an iron. Anyways, look at that. Does anybody iron anymore? I'm just curious. Hit me in the box. Does anybody iron anymore? I'm just wondering. I'm just curious. Anyways, these are absolutely adorable. Fun things for young ones or old ones like me that aren't going to break the bank. Perfect for bags that I'll be putting together for um, Toys for Tots and things like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's jump back to more um, Bolero. I found some new Bolero wipes. Anyways, new to my area. 32 count. Pineapple and aloe vera. Ooh, and look at that packaging. Isn't that just pretty, pretty, pretty? And then right next to it, I found this gargantuan tube of Bolero two times concentrated body wash, coconut and wild berry. I thought, wow. So now here we've got pineapple and aloe vera wipes by Bolero. This is 10 fluid ounces of coconut and wild berries in a body wash. I was like, whoa, if you're putting together like a basket or a gift basket or something like that. So we've got some more Bolero wipes. Again, 32 in a package. These are um, orange blossom and lavender. Love that packaging. So it's just got the type that you pop open, you pull that up and then snap it closed. Then Bolero, two times concentrated body wash. And I was going to say it again, ponies and pear, but it's peony and pear. Full size, big bottles. These are 10 fluid ounces. I mean, these are huge. So definitely, definitely bang for your buck. All right, let me like gather myself here a little bit because I have so much going on. And I'm literally like, if you see me doing this, I'm not swimming, but I'm tucking stuff behind me because I'm running out of room. All right, so let me just move over here just a little bit. I found something for Miss Kalua Lou, and these are made by Purina. She just heard me. <laughs> these are made by Purina. It's a 2.05 ounce package of chews. You get seven in a package, and they're Dental Life Daily Oral Care Dog Treats. This is what they look like. And since it is being a brand name, I did take a look at it. And everything checks out okay for me. These would be probably better for a smaller dog. But Miss Kalua, you know, for her, that's just a bite and it's gone. But these are, it doesn't really say for smaller dog. Oh, yes, it does. Right down here, it indicates mini, and there's seven in there. So they're probably, you know, about yay big. Also, I thought I had something else for her. Um, Maybe not in this trip. I could be wrong. Okay, this was kind of cool. I've never seen these before at any Dollar Tree in my area. And um, I'm a fan of peanuts hazelnuts i could go eh, eh, either way that was me just hitting the camera my bad brocks well first of all brocks being from chicago you know i gotta stay close to where my heart is and the fact that it's in a purple package that happens to match the wall the pillows my shirt and everything else now that's going on these are brocks milk chocolate not just single dipped but Double dipped 
hazelnuts. I've never seen these before. So they're whole hazelnuts. Okay, I do need a sip of tea. Actually, I'm sipping out of my new Snoopy mug. Actually, one of them, my new one, it's got Snoopy Snoopies and little Boo all over it. Mmm. Okay. Oh, that's a good cup of, as my mom would say. Okay. Brock's Melt Chocolate Double Dipped Hazelnuts 4.3 ounce bag. That is a good size bag. And I mean, I'm feeling all the way up to here. The nuts go all the way up to there. Expiration date, June 9th of 2021. What a great little treat for a stocking or just because. I thought Grandpa would get a huge kick out of these because he loves anything chocolate. He loves peanuts. So I thought I would tuck those on the side for him. Also, oh, where do I go? Where do I go? I found, bear with me. I'm not trying to be rude, but let me get them all together here. Whoa, I almost dropped something. You know, that would be typical for me, right? Okay, I saw um, Miss Anna from Only In My Dreams haul these the other day. I was like, oh man, those are cool. I want to check them out. You get 50 in a package. And they're Q-tips. They come in their own plastic little container, but they're infused with scents. Never heard that before because if you're sticking the Q-tip in your ear, how are you smelling it? I, I'm not trying, I mean, you know, you smell it when you take it out, but I don't know, unless you're sticking the Q-tip somewhere else, I don't know. Okay, let's just stop right there. You get 52 a package. This one is lavender infused cotton swabs. And now, you know, my sniffer ain't all that great right now. How do you get these out of here? Oh, it's like sealed. Okay. I don't want to make all that noise. So there's 50 in this scent. The next scent I found, also 50 to a package. And by the way, you can reuse this for any kind of Q-tips because they're the standard size Q-tip. This one is rose oil infused. So there's the two so far. I don't know how many there are and I don't recall off the top of my head how many Anna showed, but these were the only four I found. This is a 50 count of just aloe infused. And then I found one more and this one is the 50 count of coconut infused. Pretty cool, right? So I'm really, really interested to give these a sniff, but I don't think my sniffer is 100% right now, to be very honest with you. So I don't think I could give you an honest um, opinion or review. So I'll have to wait for my sniffer to start feeling better. And then I can share with you. This is a, in my opinion, I'm a Lip Smacker fan. And if you can get a Lip Smacker for a buck, which I did about a week ago. I got a whole bunch of new flavors and I paid a dollar for each of them. Well, I found these and many other YouTubers have found them as well. So they're hitting out here on the East Coast. These are the Coca-Cola Lip Smacker, another brand name, the three packs of the Chapstick. Proudly made here in the USA. These are all regular full-size Chapsticks. These aren't the mini ones. I didn't see any type of expiration date on the package. Now, please don't quote me because my eyes are not the absolute best. And usually this stuff really doesn't expire unless, you know, it's got goo on it. So I'm trying to give you a size, but the packaging makes it really hard to tell you exactly. So bear with me one moment. Okay, so each one is 0 0.42 ounces. I picked up a couple. Okay, well, there went something on the floor. I picked up several, actually, because to get one for a dollar is a phenomenal price. To get two for a buck is bada bing, bada boom. To get three is all that and a bag of chips. I'm telling you, you get cherry Coca-Cola, vanilla Coca-Cola, and regular Coca-Cola. Three in a package, and it's perfect. This could go for either Christmas or even Valentine's Day because it's not 
specific to a holiday, but it's got enough red going on where it could pass for both. Again, my opinion. Ah, oh, I did come across some new glow sticks. So I grabbed me up some of these. I thought these were adorable. This one here is a glow headband and it says last for hours. And this is what it looks like. And look at what is in the middle. Yes, it's a unicorny. So you know I had to be picking that up. I thought that was so cool. So I grabbed me one of those. And then I found some of these, and I'm assuming that these are all coming out right now because of Halloween. Halloween has literally been canceled in the whole Hudson Valley area. Now, that doesn't mean people aren't going to be doing things in their homes because I'm sure they're going to. And, you know, hey, to each his own. But, so for those of you having home parties, I thought this was pretty cool for the kids. This, of course, I had to get because it's purple. Eight pieces, and these are eight inches in length, and these are all in purple. And I purchased these because one of my subscribers had made a comment from a video I did for Target. So I've been working on my Halloween decorations, and I have a box where I have all my vials that I received from Linda in my potion box. And my subscriber mentioned to me, why not put a glow stick in there to put lights? Because I was going to try to do lights. And I said, what a fantastic idea. I'm sorry I don't remember your first name, but I definitely remember your idea. So if you want to hit me up and you're watching this, please let me know who you are below so I can thank the correct person. So I found these purple ones. So I'm going to give it a try and I'm thinking I'm going to Velcro it in there. So I can just Velcro it to the top underneath. We'll see. So that was so cool to find. They also had another pack, eight pieces. This you get one of every single color that you see here. These are just fun. You know, even, it doesn't have to be Halloween. You got some kids in the back seat of the car. It's dark, it's dark like by 5.30, 6 o'clock. Before we know it, it'll be dark by four. You got some kids in the car, you know, they're me, 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 whatever. Throw a couple of these at them. Boing. Give them something to do. Keep them quiet. Do what you have to do. Put them in the trunk. No, I'm just kidding. Then I found these and I thought, you know what? I, I'm like way too old for this, but I do have nieces and nephews. Oodles of them. Nieces and nephews, great nieces and nephews, great, 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 and great, 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 great. Yes, I'm that old. All right, this is a two pack, and you're going to get two packs of unicorny bracelets. These are in pink. They also had this blue one. Look at her little face. And these look like they've got like double braces on here. And last but not least, purple. So if anyone wants to see a review, you know which one I'm going to open. Here you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect for this time of year. You know, I mean, I normally say kids are out trick-or-treating. You know, you want them as lit up as possible to be safe. But like I said, I don't know where trick-or-treating is actually being okay anywhere but I can only speak for my neck of the woods and it's a no-go but like I said still plenty of home parties and they're fun and birthday parties all kinds of parties if you're just having a party you crack a few open and place them on your main table where you have chips and dips and just give a mood setting always find something to do with glow sticks all right my voice is like had it so I'm going to take a little bit of a rest. I do have like a whole nother Dollar Tree sitting here for you. But for right now, I'm going to say have a wonderful hump day. What's left of it for all of you that cannot pump, pump, pump away. I am off to drink some tea and um, I got some surprises coming up, but probably. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to say any more than that. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for all the wonderful new subscribers I've received. I really appreciate you stopping by, saying hi, 
hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell, because that's the only way you're ever going to win a giveaway. And that way, if you make sure the bell's hit, you're going to get verified notifications of every single video I do, whether it's Dollar Tree or the drag strip. It'll let you know. Until next time, everyone, please be safe and take care of yourself. Bye for now.